how busy this gets. There's planes going everywhere here. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? miles northwest in Telkeetna, flight instructor Don Lee embarks on a day of adventure fishing with a friend. Jim and I are going to go down to the Prince William Sound and see if we can't catch ourselves a halibut. Some of the best eating fish in Alaska. Into one of the most dangerous to catch, Don will attempt to snag a 200 plus pound halibut from his small float plane in the Gulf of Alaska. But first, He's got to get to Alaska's biggest city to pick up his fishing buddy, Jim. And talking not to two, Charlie Bravo. What's the current anchor's weather? Looks like wind 070 at 3, a mile and a half at mist, partial fog, ground-based obscuration. Crap. That doesn't sound very good for getting into anchors. Those ladies can't even leave. And it's scary when it's like that. I'm always looking to see what's going on. Is the weather getting better or is it getting worse? In the back of my mind, I'm always thinking about getting back. Pull the plug on this thing and, and go back and be safe. Fly another day. But he's got the bait. Otherwise, uh, I just go and leave him there. 2-2 Charlie Bravo, begin your uh, left turn just slightly, you got an overflight to International Airport Road, and that's uh, in Anchorage International Airspace. Okay, I can see Anchorage is cleared now, we're looking good for getting in, I can see the fog move. Whoa, whoa. Is this airplane coming right here? That's why you got to keep your eyes open. You have to be on your game all the time. I can count on both hands, personally, pilot friends that have been killed out here. Just a few months ago, two float planes collided mid-air, leaving four people dead. As the city starts to approach, you start seeing more and more airplanes. You're dealing with big jets, dozens of smaller planes, a lot more radio chatter. A lot going on. 99% of all my flying is out in the bush. I'm the only one. It's always a little tense going in there. See how busy this gets? There's planes going everywhere here. Like a hornet's nest. That's why you have to pay attention. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Oh, crap. Near the Anchorage International Airport, Don Lee is negotiating a busy airspace in his small Cessna. Whoa, whoa, look at Traffic over the south shore north Woo! That could have been uh, catastrophic, but uh, we averted danger again. November 2, Charlie Bravo, 1360 at 5 West, clear land. Clear to land west, 2-2 Charlie Bravo, thank you. Okay, we're coming in, everything looks good. Hello. Hey, Jim. Hey, good, good to see you, you man. Hey, yeah. awesome. Great. Hey, um, I brought a bunch of gear. I, I got the, uh, I got the herring, so I got the bait. That's the main thing. And I have a six-man uh, emergency raft. I hope we don't need that. I hope we don't either. Okay, checklist. Bait. Bait. Fishing Check. license. Fishing license. Rods. Rods. Lunch. Lunch. Weather. Good. Let's go. Up, up, and away. When I left the house this morning, my wife was asking, how are you going to fish off floats? But I said, uh, Don's got it figured out. But then when you got here, you looked at me like I was going to be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I do a lot of fishing off the floats, but mostly not two or three hundred pound fish. So that's where I'm hoping your expertise comes in. I'll hook them and you, <laughs> you wrestle them. Well, we're just trying to get over here to the sound, and there's the typical ocean effect weather here. And the ocean looks calm from here, but we'll see. 
might gain completely calm seas, and then uh, all of a sudden you get a wave that's six feet tall that just came out of nowhere. Could flip the plane over. The tides in Alaska are some of the largest in the world. And if the water drops 30 feet, you might come right down on top of a rock. There we go. I couldn't have picked a nicer day. <laughs> <laughs> big bait, big fish, man. That's my strategy, right, Jim? You know, every year they have a Homer Halibut Derby. I think this year was, what, 375 was the winner? Oh my God. That's I don't really know, but I think I've, I've heard of them go over 400 pounds. I know one thing, one wrong step, not pretty here. Oh my God, can you imagine? You get something that big in the water, it can really cause some trouble because they're so strong. They've been known to beat the bottom out of a boat. They'll throw masses of hooks around. They're just a very, very strong fish. That could plunge Don and Jim into 50 degree waters. Whew. Deep water, baby. What's that? What's all that waving? It. On Prince William Sound, Don and Jim hope to snare a monster halibut. What do you think? It's really tough to see. Yeah, I mean, even from the shore. Okay, I can see yeah, it. Yeah, is that a sea otter out there? Well, it just went down. Yeah. Otter out there. And yeah, with the head way up like that. Yeah. I guess we do have some competition out here. Yeah, I don't know if they go that deep or not. They might. They're stinkers. How's she look? <laughs> you probably got me. Oh, you think? Yeah. Uh, let me, uh... Oh, maybe so, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, <laughs> shoot, no wonder I'm on a fish. <laughs> no fish today. Great day on the water, though. A great day for flying. Well, we sure gave him a good scare, though, didn't we? It's quitting time, beer 30. Quitting time. Tough day at work out here. your seatbelt fastened and enjoy the ride. What they say about a, uh, a bad day of fishing is better than a great day at work. Next time, we'll catch one. When I'm flying airplanes over the Alaska countryside, it's the most exciting, stimulating thing that I think a person can do. Like they say, home is where your heart is, and my heart's in Alaska.